All right, so I usually one take these, but this is actually the second take of this video because my alarm went off while I was talking and it froze the whole fucking thing. Look, y'all, topic of the day. By the way, the reason I didn't upload is simply because I got editing. That's all it is. It's taking, uh, I party with Victorious is taking a long time, apparently, and then the video I was uploading today just took me a little too long. But topic of the day, I hear a lot, a lot a lot yo it's gaming dead this is the worst era of gaming da, 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 da. look bro if you're talking about the core three madden 2k call of duty sure you could have that argument i think it's still probably a nasty argument to make but you could have an argument because madden 2k call of duty have shown you like in 4k that they know that they're damn near the exclusive buy for the content that they have and it's and you're gonna get it regardless no matter what they do you're gonna get it you're gonna play it and they'll just do simple shit that you would think comes on release five months later and on top of that the microtransactions and the pricing in general just gets out of hand so when you're talking with those core games whether it's gameplay mechanics of madden which we've been screaming about for years or game modes that are lacking of that we've been screaming for years same applies to 2k but you are microtransactions up to hell uh call of duty they'll add something that like apex been doing overwatch been doing or something like that add it and be like see you we're good too like i like no no so it's obviously if you're talking about those three i think there's a conversation outside of those three obviously there's bad games out there obviously there's great games out there i don't think this worst era thing is warranted if you play games i'm not i'm not trying to be one of these gatekeeping guys but put it if you play games if you're a gamer like like i said like i said this the last time i talked about this conversation i downloaded civilization revolution just for the fuck of it like a week ago and i've been playing that all day um diablo i'm literally in a party with my friends right now i wish i could flip the camera but uh they're literally playing diablo right now type shit i don't know if the camera picked that up or not if it didn't know well but like like literally we just play random games for the fuck of it elden ring for the fuck of it i'm not even a big fan of elden ring hot take but like for the fuck of it and when you are just a gamer and you play a lot of games that aren't just multiplayer especially this is not the worst era of gaming not even close most of the time these developers like the good games like because we think of all the bad games and we remember everything that hurt us we don't remember all the good a lot of these good if not great games they're constantly updating dlc is constantly updating. xenoverse 2 look there's a, we know how many shit's wrong with xeno right we know how many things in xeno is just broken one thing xeno gonna do gonna drop some movie come out <laughs> dlc coming out type shit so Z xeno's been consistent i'll i'll, I'll one up even further there's two goats, arguably, in this era. For, for you to say this is the worst era of video gaming, and GTA and Fortnite are out? I don't even like Fortnite. Not even a little bit. I think GTA, for me, got played out until RP dropped. And in Fortnite, I'd be a fool if I couldn't acknowledge how great Fortnite is in terms of just viewing it as a game. Not, not playing it. I don't like the gameplay. I'm not a fan. But in terms of updating the game and adding stuff to do in your game fortnite's one of the goats gta is one of the goats so uh, like even if we're including multiplayer i know there's a lot of games that can brush you left and i know it maybe it's because they're the core games like pokemon violet scarlet pfft, i ain't gonna lie not only is it too easy it, it, looking at the game it's supposed to be great and it's not and we get sense of disappointment but in terms of being the worst era dog I don't see it from gaming in general. Now, the games that are nostalgic to us in this era, I could hear you. I hear you. Because the games that we care about, the games that are exciting, like Multiverses, for example, those games flop. But in terms of gaming in general, like even, what's a game that a lot of people, like Overwatch, for example. Overwatch is far from perfect. Far from perfect. But Overwatch is an active, like Overwatch is active like they, like some shit is wild in Overwatch 
they'll, they'll be on it. The reporting system in Overwatch is actually low-key good. <laughs> like, like it's like, ah, to say this is the worst era, I'm rambling. Obviously, that's the point of these videos anyway. So comment below. I'm going to keep it short because we're almost at the five-minute mark. But yeah, I don't think it's the worst era. You, There's obviously not perfect, but worst, uh, I, I don't see it personally. I don't see it personally, especially if you play games.